What is up? Today's tutorial is all about the step-by-step -step to make this leopard swirl tumbler. I can't wait to show it to you. I absolutely love how it turned out. I will link everything in the description box below that you need to make this tumbler. If you're new here, my name is Allison and here on this channel, I post weekly tutorials to help you learn a new craft or technique as well as go live every single Thursday. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything new that comes out. You need to start with a prep tumbler. So sand it or use your crud cutter. I will link a video on how to prep tumblers as well as add your base coat. I just used a white base coat for this tumbler, but you could go ahead and choose a matching. I like to brush on my bright tone in order to apply my glitter. Now you can use the glitter glue as well. I just find that I have the best coverage when I brush on my bright tone. Even brushing on versus using my finger, for some reason, I have better coverage with the brush. So you definitely need to play around, um, but get your whole cup covered and then you can apply your glitter. You could do this while it's attached to your turner or you can hold it. It's totally up to you, um, but you do want this um, gold section to be wider, especially even wider than you uh, want it to be when it's fully done because when it blends, it's gonna shrink up a little bit. So this is Champagne Toast from Glitzy Creations and I cannot recommend it enough. Now I'm going in with a blue called Surfside from Starcraft. I got it at 143 vinyl and I just am sort of putting it on the crease to have it blend and letting it fall off. And then I went in with this dark blue called Beachology, which is also a Starcraft glitter, trying to um, lightly tap it on so I can get it to fade in with the lighter blue as well as get full coverage over that middle section. I ended up doing this blue and then deciding to go back in with the light blue because I felt like I was sort of losing that light blue. So I just kind of went back and decided to go in again and help fade it even more with the light blue. And I think it turned out pretty good. I even went back into with a little bit more of the gold. Um, on a different cup, I actually went in with a fine gold, which I probably would recommend. I can recommend Golden Sand from... Um, glitzy creations as well so you don't get too much chunky all at one time so you're going to need to let this dry for four hours and once it's dry you're going to brush off any excess glitter and seal it with the glitter glue so i just take this like wet and wild brush any you know dry brush will work to get any excess off that cup and then i'm going to spray on my glitter glue I like to spray when I have multiple colors and it's just two parts of glue mixed with one part water. And I'm gonna spray it so the cup is fully covered and I'm gonna let it dry for two hours. Anytime you use the glitter glue, it needs to dry for two hours. Once that two hours is up, I'm going to flatten it by rolling it in parchment paper. I put pressure on the table and just make sure that that glitter is nice and flat. And then something I do when I have chunky glitter is I spray first and then I go over it with the glitter glue and a damp brush. Now this part is optional. You don't have to seal twice. I just like to do it when I have a chunky glitter so I can make sure that it is super, super flat. So I'm just going to saturate the cup with, a, with the glue and a wet brush so it is fully covered. And again, we're going to let it dry for two hours. And then you can flatten it again. I just roll it in the parchment paper. And I've also been liking using this brayer roller, which is just a rubber brayer. You can find it in the paint section of any like Michaels or Joann's. I will link this one down below. It's the speedball kind, but the brand really, really doesn't matter. I just think that you can really get good pressure with the roller and make sure that that glitter is super flat. And it's not going anywhere because now I have sealed it twice so it won't contaminate each other. So let me show you just how flat this is. Like you want it to be super, super flat. Otherwise the chunky is gonna take you like just a really long time. So then you're ready for your bright tone. Yeah. 
Now I don't have the next part on video, but you're going to keep coating with your bright tone until you get a smooth surface. So do, I usually do um, four or five coats of bright tone before I give it a light sand, especially over chunky glitter, and then continue to do another um, four coats and then give it a light sand. You will notice that right now my tumbler is a little bit dull and that's because I had just finished sanding to put I got this leopard print design from Creative Fabrica. You guys know how much I love my membership there. I will link it down below. Um, any leopard print design will do. I decided to hand place it because I didn't want to try to figure out the right size and it's curved and all that. So just hand placing it worked really well. And I just placed them one by one. This is Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. I chose to do black. And then once it is covered, you're going to coat it with bright tone. Now you wanna get it fully smooth before we get to the Milky Way part. So do a few coats and then just sand with 400 grit sandpaper over the vinyl, not the whole cup, just the vinyl and keep going until you get a smooth surface. And then it's time for the Milky Way portion of the tumbler once you get a smooth surface. I'm using this blue from Glitter Chimp and white just from Amazon. I will link both below. And I am using my Extreme Protection for this. You can use Bright Tone as well. Just know it doesn't take a lot of powder, uh, but you want to have it enough so it's not super transparent, but it will be a little transparent. So just add enough so you get a good consistency and good color and mix it up. But you'll see I just take a little popsicle stick and dump it in there and mix it up. This blue went actually perfectly over the blue glitter that I chose. Now, I chose to do this mica powder and create a softer look, but you could use paint, you could use the crystallite pigments if you wanted it to be a little bit more bold. You're going to start by doing a coat of your bright tone or extreme protection. It doesn't really matter. And coat the cup with your top coat. Then you're just going to kind of spoon on your mica powder mixes. I'm using a popsicle stick and I'm doing it in the diagonal pattern that I want it to be in. Now I'm going to do the blue and the white and something that I've been liking. Now you'll figure out what you like the best. Um, I take a straw to get it to move, but what I've been doing lately is taking my finger and sort of swiping it in the direction that I want it. And I like the look that gives when I do my finger first and then grab my straw and soften up those lines. That's just something I've been enjoying lately. But you could just use your straw. You could just use your finger. You know, you'll get used to what makes you happy with your cups. Let this spin for a couple hours and let it dry overnight. And I finish up my Milky Ways with a few coats of Bright Tone over the top just to get that extra shiny surface. Let me know what you think of the cup in the comments below and I will pull up the next video that I think you will like. I'll see you next week.